Oh my god, I slept so hard. Uh, it's so late. It's like 9.30 in the morning. And I'm just waking up. I decided that even though I'm not doing anything today, I needed to get ready to wake myself up so that I could function. So now what I'm going to do is step one in redoing a dresser that I want to redo. So we picked this up off the side of the street. Someone was just getting rid of it um, for free. But this drawer, you guys can see there's this big crack along the bottom of the drawer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and glue it. And you're supposed to clamp it, but we don't have any clamps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it and then rest my feet on it while I edit my video because it only needs to be clamped for like 30 minutes and that should be about the same amount of time. Okay, so I can't get it perfectly exactly, but um, if you guys can see, you can see there's still like a lip there. I can't get it to go in. I can't get it to be perfect, but at least it will keep it together. All right, I've got my box of salad now, left over from a few nights ago, but the drawer seems to be setting up nicely. It's drying, you know, it's hard. I'll be able to sand that off. But I also had to adhere this part. It had split all the way down pretty much. So I had to re-glue that one as well. So I was just watching some YouTube videos while my video was uploading. And now I'm going to go and sort through my jewelry, which could be an epic adventure in and of itself. Oh, I think that looks pretty good. I didn't really need to get rid of too, too much, which is nice. But now, whoa, that was weird. Now there is much less on there and much less on here. So good, good stuff. But now I'm going to go organize my desk, which is going to be quite the feat because... There's a lot of stuff in there that I definitely don't need, or I'm not sure if I need, no legal papers, like for taxes and whatever, things like that. I um, mean, a lot of sentimental things, which according to the book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, I'm not supposed to go through the sentimental things until, like, the end, until I've kind of, like, figured out this process and got it down. So I have a whole pile of athletic clothes and pajamas and scarves that I don't grab for that I need to bring to Salvation Army or something as well. So this is progressing to the point where I feel the desk is clean, but um, there's now this large pile of things. A lot of it is trash, some things are just things that need to be sorted, but I feel like Whenever I clean something like this, the reason I put it off and put it off and put it off is because, like, once I know I've cleaned, there's these things that I want to keep that I don't know what to do with. It's just frustrating. Alright, this is as good as it's going to get for now. It's just a few things that I need to take care of. These things are coming downstairs with me. But... The desk is organized, the bed is mostly clear, two uh, like grocery bags of trash taken out, taken care of. Good stuff. And two garbage bags of clothing, athletic clothes, donation, etc. Now we move on. I don't want to work out. It's like 8 o'clock at night and I haven't yet, and it's my own fault that I haven't done it yet. 
But I just don't want to. Like, I want to. I just don't want to get up. Fine. I'm doing it. All right. I did it. It was not perfect by any means, but I did it. I got it done. And that's what matters. I don't really care if I do these perfectly every time. I just need to get them done and I need to do them. I need to stay in the routine and remember why I'm doing it. I'm at that kind of point now in working out where I'm doubting myself and I'm just being really hard on myself, but I need to push past this point to see results. I'm feeling the kind of soreness and the achiness that I like to feel that lets me know that I'm in fact working my muscles and things are going well and I just have to just keep working. I have to make it a lifestyle change and not hope for an instant fix. So that's kind of where I'm at is like pushing past that point. And all I wanted to do when I finished, and this used to happen to me during lacrosse practice as well, I used to crave juice. Like in lacrosse, it was like 7 a.m. practice. All I wanted afterwards was orange juice. Like it was all I could think about towards the end of practice. That's all I wanted when I got to the dining hall. I would chug like almost a full glass and like, and that was it. Then I was satisfied. Same thing. So I filled the glass with like half juice and half water. I diluted it to get more water in and I literally took a sip of it and was satisfied. But I'm going to finish it just to get the liquid content in. Yeah, a little bit tired now. Um, but it's quarter to nine, so I'm gonna try and mellow out. It is now time for me to force myself to try to go to sleep. It's not super late, and I've been staying up pretty late these past few nights. So, yeah, I have to work tomorrow. Um, again, just helping out a family friend. So I'm not sure how tomorrow is going to go, but Alex comes home tomorrow, so I'm super excited about that. It's been, like, really weird but kind of nice at the same time with him not being here. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I'm super excited for him to come home tomorrow. That's going to be fantastic and exciting. But I have to be up early. I think I need to wake up around 6 in order to meet my family friend at the appropriate time. And I just found out it's supposed to snow tomorrow morning. And you all know how I feel about driving in the snow. So I'm really looking forward to that. But whatever, I'm going to try and read and relax right now and get to bed so I can get up and do that stuff tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Good night.